Hello there. Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the newest version of the one-to-one -one Razor Crest from The Mandalorian. Um, the old one was not by any means bad. Um, there were some inaccuracies, the engines were a bit too close to the body. I think the um, the colours weren't really right. I don't think I even put any of the yellow markings on there. So that's definitely something that I've improved. Um, we didn't have access to Blackstone the last time I made it. I think I was in the version before that, um, potentially which means that the, the cockpit was very grey. There was no, uh, or barely any, actual glass on there. Obviously this time around we've made it kind of glass and black stone to sort of uh, uh, imitate glass, I guess. Uh, in one respect, I think the previous version is superior, and that is in the interior space, um, purely because um, the old one was a bit wider. It was a bit chunkier. Uh, whereas this one's a bit more proportionally accurate and definitely looks way better from the outside but again that interior detail is slightly less I'd say um, but it's still very respectable and again this was done by uh, clone 543 or clone and about um, I have his channel in the description so go check him out he does some uh, awesome Star Wars content discussions stuff like that so yeah check that out the the cockpit does have room you kind of have to squeeze in here but yeah, it's very very minimal as you can see um, just because of all the bits that need to cover up the outside. So, yeah, um, and the final thing, yeah, this is just closer to the 2 to 1 model that we did um, a couple of months ago. As you can see over here, um, after I was done building this one, I realized how inaccurate my previous 1 to 1 model was. So, obviously, gone back and, and redone it. So yeah, let's uh, crack on with the build. Um, there's no little Baby Yoda this time. If you want to have the little Baby Yoda tutorial, just um, go back to the old old one. It's like three blocks, I think. Um, so yeah. Anyway, off we go. Layer number one. All right, starting with layer one. The green line is the front of the build. The red line is the back. Just remember that. Um, last build, I did use a... Not a new system, per se, but just a, a new way of doing things where I did have all the materials up here in the, uh, in the inventory. With builds like this, where it's a little bit bigger than what we did last time, um, I realise it's just going to overflow out of there anyway. There's going to be way too many materials to even fit in these. Um, so for now, I'm going to just get the materials as as we need them. Like in this layer, we need these ones. Uh, but in the future, I might look at doing some sort of like I don't know visual graphic to show you what materials you need in a build. Um, if you don't know what I'm referring to, just watch the previous video I've made. So. Yeah, anyway, this layer, stone, polished andesite stairs, and slab, iron trap door, light grey banner, and lever, and I've also got two temporary blocks here as well. Um, you don't necessarily need two, but just for, for my count in sake, um, that's what I'm, I'm going to do. Starting with, uh, let's say, the lever, I guess. This is on the ground layer, um, just like that. If you're building this in the air, you don't need to do um, any of this landing gear, um, but I would recommend building it anyway and then just deleting it afterwards, just so you know you're not going to have any holes in the build or anything. Um, so lever, the polished stair facing towards the front, another one, and then another stair. This is where we do our temporary blocks. Um, so, in fact, I, mean, I am just going to use one. I've already got the reference image, so I'm just going to use one. I'm going to use blue wool. So one, two, three, four, uh, five, and you need a six as well. All separated by one. And then uh, come into this second one in here, uh, going out by one there and there as well. All right, so you should hopefully have this. Take the iron trap door, that's going to go top half on each side. Stair there, stair there, and an upside down one, upside down one, one facing back, facing back, slab, slab, and again, lever and lever. Taking the light grey banner, that's one and two, and just one there on that side. One, one and two. All right, so you should have this so far. Now, because this build is slightly asymmetrical with the door and the interior, um, you are gonna go to this uh, block here, 
do a gap of three, two top half polished on the side slabs, two iron trap doors, two bottom half slabs here, and two more iron trap doors like that. All right. Cool, and that, um, that does it for this layer, so let's move on up to layer number two. All right, for layer number two, you're gonna need polish andesite, stairs, and slab, and full block. Um, stone brick slab and wall, iron trap door, birch sign, anvil, and hopper. Starting off with the, with the anvil, I suppose, go to this front foot here, put that there, and hopper is gonna join onto it like that. It's just part of the uh, front landing gear there. Stone brick slab, top half, one, two, three, four, five. Taking the iron trap door two there and on the uh, the ramp side there's just going to be one stone brick slabs again do one there and then it's going to be three and three again and three again taking the iron trap doors once more that's going to be one there and on this side as well do another stone brick slab there and there Okay, taking polished andesite full block, we are going to do one, two, three, one, two, three, two stone brick slabs there, one here, three here, and three here. All right. Do another full block there and there, stone brick wall on either side, and then a upside down polished andesite stairs like that. Okay, polished andesite slab here, one there as well. And we're gonna do two upside down stairs, um, one and two. Birch signs are gonna go on the outside like that. All right. So just like so. And that finishes off the layer, that's a pretty simple one. Um, this build doesn't really get difficult, I'd say, until, until we get to the uh, sort of flat wing, or not wing, but engine connect a bit. That's probably the, the biggest layer, I'd say. But yeah, um, on to the next one. Alright, next one up. Um, as expected, I forgot a little bit off the last layer. Um, it's just going to be a set of bottom half polished, oh my god, <laughs> polished andesite slabs there, and iron trap doors there like that, just on the uh, ramp side. And that finishes off the ramp now anyway. And you can delete these temporary locks. Um, other materials you need for this one are going to be stone, polished andesite, and polished andesite stairs and slab, stone brick wall, and stone brick wall for the yellow detail. Um, iron bars, light grey carpet, iron trap door, and then these two trap doors as well. That's dark oak and birch. Um, okay, so starting off, I suppose, here, um, we'll do two light grey carpets, um, and then a third one, and then we are going to want to take our birch trap door. Do one there, flip it up, do one here, flip it up. This is a stone block just there, and another birch trapdoor. Do a stone, uh, end stone, sorry, brick wall, stone brick wall, and then iron bars, one, two, and three. Stone brick wall there, and then just bring this around. And that's stone brick wall, end stone brick wall, two polished, two stone. This is a polished andesite stairs there. Corner it and that's a carpet here. Take the birch trap door once more and there flip it up. We need the dark oak trap door now. That's one. And then you want to do another one next to that. So just there like so. Okay taking the birch trap doors again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Flip all of those up. Um, it's a shame there isn't a, like, just normal grey trapdoor. That would be, like, so, so useful. Um, I know iron trapdoor is the closest thing you're going to get, but it's got holes in and you need redstone power, which is uh, just unfortunate. Iron bars is going to go there, and then three stone brick walls like that. There's going to be two polished andesite, two slabs, and then taking the iron trap doors now to there. Another stone brick wall goes on the back. And then taking the polished andesite stairs again. Um, that's a corner one, like so. Slab there. Um, and then we want to corner this around. 
two polished two slabs, two trapdoors. Before I forget, three top half polished slabs on the top half there. And then taking our light grey carpets, that's just two to cover up those iron trap doors. Okay. Um, stone brick wall is going to go here. One, two, three. And also birch trap doors. One, two, three, four, five this time. And then with the iron bars, just one there like that. Don't forget this other stone brick wall here as well. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for that layer, I think. Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, on to the next one. All right, next layer up. Um, we've got all the materials here. There's loads of them. Um, polished on site stone, yellow terracotta, polished on site stairs, uh, end stone brick wall, stone brick wall, and site wall, deep site tile wall. Um, Polished black stone wall, iron bars, these three trap doors, you can see what they are. Um, and then birch stairs with ladder, uh, brown and light grey banners, and light grey concrete powder is this one here. Um, so starting at the front, one, two, three, four polished, deep slate tile wall, iron bar on either side of that. This time we're going to do two andesite walls, and then a stone brick wall and then a end stone brick wall. This is going to be a stone block here with a upside down polished andesite stair there and also a birch stairs upside down there like that. Um, do a corner stair just like so. Grab your birch trap doors and that is going to be one there and two there. Flip those up. Take a ladder, just one there like that, and then polish and sites there, one goes there like that, and then a um, spruce, uh, not spruce, birch there, just there as well. Grab your iron trap doors, um, and they're going to go top half, one and two, and then also a stone brick wall is just going to go there. So. Uh, one, two, stone brick wall. That's part of the, uh, the, 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 the the weapons. I don't know what exactly weapons are, but yeah, that's that's there. Um, stone brick wall, two of those, um, two dark oak trap doors, and then on the, the back of one of these trap doors here, uh, we need to do a, a light grey banner. Just like that. Okay. Stone block one and two. Take the yellow terracotta, that's two of those on each side. We need the brown banner. That goes on there. Stone blocks one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Polished, polished. Two stone brick walls there and there. This is a dark oak trap door, one and two. Make sure to flip those. Yeah, lots of materials on this one as we are starting to build the interior detail. Um, so polished black stone walls there. Stair, stair. And then in the middle, there is going to be a polished underside slab, which I don't have, so I'm going to have to grab that. There we go. And then three more of those are going to go top half like that. Final thing, grab the clay. Not clay, sorry. It looks kind of like clay. It's uh, actually light grey concrete powder. That's going to be one and two like that. Alright. I'm just going to do a visual inspection to make sure that everything's been put on there. I think it has. Yep. Alright, let's move on up to the next layer. You can see the, uh, the shape starting to... Um, form now so that's that's good all right all right for this one you're gonna need polished andesite stone yellow terracotta the light gray concrete powder and we're just gonna do that straight away there's two of those just get rid of that for now um we need polished andesite stairs um, and slab 
We need andesite wall, stone brick wall, and <coughs> end stone brick wall. Iron bars, um, polished black stone wall, with a skeleton skull, end rod, and grindstone. Those three for the, uh, the cannons on the front. Polished black stone slab and polished deep slate stairs. Dark oak fence gate, polished black stone button, light grey banner, brown banner, dark oak trap door, birch trap door, and light grey carpet. So, pretty hefty uh, material lifts for this one. Start off with a polished andesite there, um, and andesite wall one and two, iron bars one and two. Just quickly do the dark oak fence gate. I think there's only one of those for this layer. That goes there like that. So we'll just put that up here for now. Um, polished again. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, and four. Do a stone brick wall, iron bars, iron bars. Okay. Grab the polished blackstone button. One there. I'm actually going to do one on the underside as well. Like that. Okay, quickly just make a gap of three here in the inventory. We're going to take these three, get these out of the way. Um, so it's just a grindstone, grindstone, end rod, end rod, and with a skull. And you can get rid of those three for now. And that's gone on my, my head. Um, grab these back. Okay. Um, taking the yellow terracotta, that's one and two. We need a birch trap door on the inside. Uh, just there, and one there as well. This is stone block. And then three stone blocks here. Do a ladder, just one. And we're going to take our light grey carpets and there's one and two so we're covering up those gaps that we've got on the floor here two there and then there's also another one just here to cover up the um, little compartment um, so that's that's fine we'll do the seat now and we'll just finish off the cockpit so seat there um, it's very short just because of the, the the headroom in, in the cockpit so um, there you go that's the, the seat and then taking the uh, deep slate, uh, polished deep slate stairs as one. And then this is a corner one here and a corner one here as well. And hopefully that should cover up basically all the gaps on the inside. Okay, uh, get rid of those two for now. Um, we'll just stick with these ones. So two end stone brick walls on either side. Actually, no, just on that side, not on the uh, the ramp side. Two dark oak trap doors, just flip those. Yellow terracotta, there's going to be one. Skip one, that goes there. Stone in the middle. Three stone here, three stone here. Polished, polished. Get the uh, birch trap door and the iron bars. The birch trap door is going to go there and flip it. There's going to be iron bars, one, two, three, four, um, five, and six. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Polished black stone wall, one and two. And you can get rid of those up here for now. Um, grab the banners. It's going to be a brown one just here, and a light gray one's going to go there. All right. Oh, we also need a, a chain. Um, that's going to go just there so you want it floating in the air for now I think next layer it'll um, connect to something but for now it's, it's just floating right uh, polished andesite stairs you want to take those and also slabs there's going to be a stair just here a full block um, I'm just checking on the right one actually no nowhere near don't do that yet <laughs> stone brick wall one two three one, two, three. I was just doing the wrong wrong bit, just completely. Two dark oak trap doors on either side. And then this is where we do the stairs on either side like that. And there's going to be a full block there and there. And a polished andesite slab. And then three 
top half slabs go like that. All right, that's better. Um, other than that, I think the last thing is just to take another one of these uh, light gray banners. That just goes there. Um, but yeah, I think that's, that's everything. Um, otherwise, uh, just double check in. Yeah, I think so. Okay, um, on to the on to the next one. All right, next layer up is uh, probably probably one of the most difficult ones, I, I suppose. Um, although it's still not even difficult, it's just uh, quite quite a lot of materials. Um, polished andesite stone, yellow terracotta. We need polished andesite stair and slab, stone slab, stone brick slab, iron trap door, black stained glass, and pane. Um, light grey banner, lever, chain, uh, polished black stone wall, dark oak trap door. Birch trap door, uh, iron bars, stone, brick wall, and blast furnace. Starting off the front here with the black stained glass, that's one. And then do the glass pane on either side. And you can get rid of. Uh, actually, no, wait, hang on. Oh, that's really confusing. Uh, I think it's actually two. So th sorry, three across like that, and then the black stained glass goes there. And then the uh, polished blackstone wall goes on either side. I'm just going to double check that so you might see a quick junk. Okay, no, it's fine. Um, polished on the side stairs is going to go there, one and two. Corner it twice. So, yeah, as you can see, this is going to be a cockpit space, which is just very minimal. Um, so, again, the, the previous model was better in that regard, but you know, for exterior looks, this one is definitely 100% superior, no doubt about it. Um, there's birch trapdoors on either side, like that. I'm just gonna put these up there for now as well. Um, grab your stone brick walls, iron bars, one, two, and again, like that. You'll also need a skeleton skull, which I haven't put in the material list, um, but we need it. And we're gonna put that just there, and also just there. All right. So it just adds a little bit of extra height to the uh, kind of side coverings on these uh, these weapons. Okay, uh, next up, grab the dark oak trap door. That's going to be one and two, and then yellow terracotta on either side. This is polished, polished, um, and then yellow, yellow, polished, polished. Put a lever the infamous um, control stick. That's going to go right there in the middle. A little bit of uh, just a nod to the, the actual show there. Um, from here, another stonework wall is going to go there. And on this one, iron bars one and two. So you can see we're starting to expand outwards now, which is obviously what we want. Stone one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Polished black stone wall on either side there. And we're just going to do this interior detail, get this out of the way. Um, grabbing our levers once more, we are going to put them on top of these. Um, what I think is meant to be the carbonite um, storage people. So yeah, that's there. The levers just hold them in place essentially. Um, there's going to be a chain. Might have to do a little bit of uh, temper building here, but the chain essentially needs to go on the layer that we're working on, but just kind of f floating in the air for now, just there next to the um, first of those carbonite things. And then another chain is also going to go um, on. Am I building this in the wrong place? Yeah, I am actually. It's on this one here. There we go. So that's there. And then another chain is going to go on top of the one we did before. Okay. Um, get your grey, oh, sorry, your light grey banner. Um, in fact, you'll need to do two stone there first, and also a stone slab. And then the light grey banners are going to go. Uh, oh, I'm building a complete wrong place. Right, <laughs> you've done that bit there. One, two, three, four, um, and five more slabs like that and then this is where the light grey banners go. There we go. 
and this is an iron trap door in the middle of this as well. Yeah, I got a bit confused with the place in there, but it's it's fine. It's sorted now. Three polished, three polished, um, and this is a polished andesite slab one and two with a iron trap door. On the inside here, we're going to take our stone slabs, and we want to do three of those, three of those. We also need smooth stone slab, which I forgot to get, but yeah, we need it. That's three of those here. Two polished there, two polished here. Two more smooth stone slabs. This is three polished. One stone brick slab is going to go right in the middle there. Polished on either side, and one iron trap door there like that. Okay, so that's basically the middle of it done. Now we just need to build outwards and um, towards the engines. So starting off here, we're going to do a polished andesite uh, top half slab like that. That's just on that first andesite block towards the back. Do a polished full block here and here, and then five stone in the middle. There we go. Taking the polished andesite slabs again, top half three, skip three, do one there. Okay, so you should have a gap of, uh, that's in the wrong place, a gap of three there, and this is going to be polished andesite stairs. Taking the iron trap doors now, we're going to start here and do two, 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 and two, so two by six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, final thing is to skip outwards by one here. Do two stone blocks just there like that. We're going to take the blast furnace. That's one. Two more stone blocks are going to go um, there. This is a polished stair on the front. Oh, sorry, back. <laughs> um, a slab goes there and an iron trap door. And then with the dark oak trap doors now, that's two flip them down and again on this side too like that all right same again on this side so just skipping out by one and you do two stone blocks the blast furnace goes there nope there two stone blocks again one and two upside down stair slab trap door so that front trap door should line up with the stone brick wall here hopefully um, and then just finish this bit off. One, two, one, two. All right, so that is going to do it for this layer, I think. Um, just again, double checking versus my reference model. Yeah, looks 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 fine. All right, until the next one. Right, coming on to this one, uh, stone, polished andesite, polished andesite stairs, stone brick stairs and slab, polished andesite slab and end stone brick slab, birch trap door and iron trap door, uh, black stained glass, you need grey stained glass paint, I know it's very hard to see there, but it's, it's, it's there, trust me. Polished black stone wall, iron bars, deep slate tile wall and stone brick wall, lever, um, a light source, so the original model has shroom light in it and I'm going to use that again. Uh, we can use sea lantern or glowstone if you wish. Um, chiseled deep slate, grey concrete, deep slate tile slab, and chiseled stone bricks. So, yeah, let's start off with um, a end stone slab there and there. Iron trap doors on either side, and then birch trap doors uh, next to those. All right. Two polished andesite stairs on either side here. And then this is where we are going to use our uh, light source, just above where that iron trap door is. That's a polished andesite here. You want to do a polished andesite stairs facing towards the front there. I don't know why, because it gets covered up. Um, yeah, not, not sure about that one. Um, I guess just use a full block for now. Two of those... Um, you want your black stained glass, another two polished, and then black stained glass here. Take your grey 
the stained glass pane. That's one and two. Um, polished deep slate walls, two of those. And then a stone brick wall to finish that bit off. There we go. Okay, um, two stone blocks are going to go here and here. You want to take the uh, chiseled deep slate. It was originally nether, netherite, I think is the name for it, um, in the original model. Um, I'm just trying to see which way that's facing. I don't really use this very often. I think this is just the default. Yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, I know not everyone can get netherite, so chiseled deep slate is a little bit easier. Um, taking the polish on the side slabs too. Oh, by the way, last video, I don't know if you noticed, um, I started putting the track names at the, well, at the start of the track um, in the bottom right hand corner. So just um, support, you know, the people that make the music. Um, because it is, as far as I'm aware, all um, royalty free as long as you're not using it in a commercial capacity. Um, so, you know, just check out the artist. You know, I use uh, Ben Sound, I use a lot of Tobu. Um, especially especially when I first started making videos, I used a lot of Tobu. It was like all Tobu. Um, who else do I use? I don't remember. But, yeah, quite a lot of people. Uh, one chiseled there, skip two, and then do another one. And then stone one. Um, you want to bring it out by three on this side and three again and then we are just going to bring that all the way across and just fill all this in so just like that all right do an extra one two three four one two three four taking the polished on the side that's one and two and then one two three four Okay, next up, stone brick stairs, one and two. Taking the stone brick slab, one and two. And this is five stone blocks. There we go. All right, iron bars, one there and here. Stone brick wall, two and two. Two polished too polished. We are going to take our deep slate tile slabs on the original model. It was polished black stone, but I think um, this is a little bit more color accurate. So two of those and then two polished andesite slabs in the middle. Two stone and polished times two. Three, 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 three. That's all stone there. Um, in fact, take that first one out, replace it with polished, and add an extra three on the back here. This is going to be polished on the site three, and then stone brick slabs one, two, three. So that's the uh, full length of the ship now, which is which is good. Two iron bars go there, two there, and two here as well, just to um, help carry that slope towards the tail. You can see that better formed now. Okay, um, so next bit, taking the polished andesite, you want to do three, and three here. Taking our stone, that's three, one there, one there. We're just going to do this on the other side so I don't get too far behind. Um, so just like that. And taking the stone brick stairs, there's going to be two. Two, you want those facing inwards or towards the engine basically. Um, so make sure you just do that on all of them. There we go. Do an extra stone on the back. Um, and then you're going to do three, or sorry, two polished underside and one stair like that. So two, one. Um, stone block, one and two. One and two. Extra one there. Uh, you want to do another stone brick stairs. One, two, three, and four. Again, one, two, three, and four. 
So you should have this, hopefully. Now we want grey concrete and also deep slate uh, tile wall and lever. So the grey concrete, deep slate tile wall, levers on both sides like that. Again. That's starting off the uh, the engines. All right. Um, yeah, that's everything for this layer, so let's move on up to the next one. I don't know what layer number we're on. I, I haven't been keeping track, but it will say on screen. <laughs> all right, let's do that. All right, um, I'm keeping like all the materials from last layer, really. Adding polished blackstone slab, dark oak fence gate, stone button, iron bars, sea lantern, uh, yellow stained glass, and yellow stained glass paint. Again, for the engines, uh, depending on what lighting you want, um, you can use sea lanterns, shroom light, glowstone, whichever, it's fine. Um, I think for this one it, it was sea lantern on the original model anyway, so I'm going to keep it again as, as that. Um, quick little amendment for the previous layer. Um, you see there's a little gap here. I'm going to put a stone brick wall there and also on this one here. But then we're going to essentially bring this polished blackstone bit forward um, just, by, just by one. Um, so that goes there, and that's replaced with a stone brick wall. And again, oh, I don't know what I just destroyed there. That was uh, that was not clever. Uh, so two there like that. I'm going to assume it was a polished andesite or something, but I'll um, yeah, it, it must be. Uh, okay. So starting uh, starting this one off, I guess let's do polished andesite slab. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to go around here and just surround those uh, chiseled stone bricks. Just like that. With the stone button. That's one and two. Throw that away for now. And then two iron trap doors in that gap. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six on the outside. One, two, three, four, five, six again on the outside. With the light grey carpet, there's going to be two, one, 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 two, one, two, one, 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 one. <laughs> Grab the birch trapdoor, three, and three, and then this is iron trapdoor, one and two, one and two. Three polished slabs like that. Come into the front here and take a lever. That's going to be one, two, flip them both. Light grey carpet on either side, iron trap door there. Three polished andesite slabs. This is a polished black stone slab. A uh, daylight detector as well. Put that there, turn it on. And then an iron trap deal just to finish that off. In fact, how is it? Hmm. Turn it off, I guess. Wait, wait what? Is it? I'm so confused right now. Is that because of that lever down there? Let's try that. <laughs> That's so strange. Um, okay, if anything like that happens, just add another polished blackstone slab there. Um, you don't get the same curvature, but it's yeah, what can you do really? Um, I'm going to leave it like that because that's no, just stupid. I don't know why that didn't work. <laughs> I, I just don't understand redstone. Just to put it in the simplest terms, uh, I don't agree with with redstone. I don't want to learn. <laughs> um, it's it's funny because you know I do all this this Star Wars stuff and and the Halo stuff and you know make it look as accurate as possible and, it, and you know a lot of people love it, um, but then when it comes to redstone I am just just absolutely clueless cannot do the most basic things. It's like it's like I've never played the game before. It's like a completely different game to me. Um, so I need redstone lessons. I think the Death Star over there the um, one to five thousand one I made um, clone five four three or cloning about and um, again channel link in the description he um, made a firing mechanism for it I just don't understand it I don't understand how any of it works I'm um, just old and tired 
Um, you need the stone brick wall and the iron bar here and there as well. One, two, three, four, five stone, three polished. Um, again, taking the chiseled deep slate. That's one. Polished one, two, three. One, two, three here. And this is going to be polished there, stone here. All right. Now, I'll show you the extent of my redstone abilities right now. That's uh, just with the levers. Um, go into this block here. You want to do four levers in a row. And then on the outside, four iron trap doors. And then, of course, boop, 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 boop. There you go. Um, what next? Iron bars and stone brick wall again. One, two. Get the birch trap door. That goes there and there. This is a dark oak fence gate. There, flip it. Stone brick wall on either side. Um, iron bar goes here. And then this is going to be a grey concrete. You want the deep slate tile walls. You want the sea lantern and the yellow stained glass and the pane as well. One, two. The deep slate tile walls. Do the yellow stained glass there. And then the pane and then another one. And then a sea lantern here. And that finishes off the left side um, for this layer. So let's just uh, quickly do that over on the right as well. So. Okay, I've already got that bit, that's fine. Um, polish on the site for the... You know, I'm going to do this bit first so we don't have to use these materials again for a bit. Um, okay. There we go. Alright, we can get rid of those ones for now. Just pop the sealant on. I've already done that, that's good. And we need that, that. Levers, iron trap door. And birch trap door. One, two, three, four, five. One. Yeah, is one there. And polished. One, two, three. Three polished. Three polished. And stone brick wall, iron bar. Iron bar there. One here. One, two. Birch on either side. Levers. One, two, three. Four, four trap doors. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, deep slate, chiseled, or oh, chiseled deep slate. <laughs> One of those on each side. The stone brick walls, and finally, the dark oak fence game. All right, and I think that um, that does it for this layer. So that's that's good. Um, yeah, okay. Next one up should be the last or second to last one. So let's let's do that. All right, for the final two layers, you're going to need stone, grey concrete. Um, I've done this in a stupid order, but stone brick stairs, deep slate tile wall, polished andesite, iron trap door, snow layers, light grey carpet. Um, this is interchangeable if, if you don't want to use snow layers, but we'll get to that in a minute. Light grey carpet, stone brick slab, and lever. Grey concrete, grey concrete, and deep slate tile wall in front of both of those. Lever, one and two. One and two. I'm going to do stone brick stairs, we'll get these out of the way. Um, one, skip one, one, skip one, one, and then skip two. Do one there. And again, same on this side. So again, one, 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 two, like that. Taking the polished andesite, you want to do three of those here. Stone's going to go in that gap. Do uh, stone here, three stone. Do stone here, three polished. And then three stone here. Again, three, three there. One, one, two, three, one, three, and one. Okay. Taking the light grey carpet. That goes there. And on this one. 
in trapdoor. One and two. Skip one. One there. One there. And then skip two. Um, in fact, no. Not two. I'm going to skip three, but we'll do that in a minute. Um, so this is where we would put the snow layers. Essentially, the reason I did this is because it's slightly lower, and these bits here with the stone brick stairs are meant to be sort of indented. You can either do snow layer here, or light grey carpet, or um, grey carpet even, if you want. Um, just so you've got that kind of ridge. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, two stem brick slabs, one and two like that, and we'll do the same here. This is going to be a uh, another stone block, and then a stem brick stair. And this is another iron trap door, just here and here. Okay. And, yeah, I think that, that does it. Um, so that's the brand new one-to-one -one Razor Crest. If you want to have this in flight mode, um, you can easily just knock this ramp off um, from this point here. And then mirror what we've done on this side, on this one. And then obviously the landing gear. And we would just cut off here, anything past that point would be de uh, deleted and on the front half on the uh, front landing gear sorry obviously get rid of this bit the anvil's going to fall down so just replace the uh, anvil and the hopper with two more stem brick slabs um, is how you would do that um, but yeah other than that let's get these shaders on do a quick post build showcase and then we'll get this uh, get this uploaded <laughs> Yeah, the previous model was was very popular, um, probably one of the most popular one-to-one -one models I've ever done. So I'm hoping this one um, is going to end up similar, um, especially with it being much more accurate from the outside. Very, very similar to the two-to-one model, but obviously like a sixth, well, maybe a third of the upload time uh, or the, the video time. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I can't get my words out. Um, yeah, cool. A quick show off of the inside. Obviously, again, like I said before, it's it's not, I'd say, as, as accurate or fleshed out as the old one. Um, but yeah, the the exterior is is the point of this one, really. Yeah. Anyway, rest in peace, Razor Crest. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> all right. Um, see you all in the next one. I might do another video today. I'm not sure. I'll see how I feel. Um, but I guess we'll we'll see, won't we? See you later. Hey everyone, thank you for watching the video. On the screen right now you can see a list of the fantastic Patreon supporters who are helping to support the channel. If you want to check out the Patreon and other social medias of mine, you can find them all in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.